All right, we're going to talk about the CardioTech GT105. Uh, there's quite a bit of features that go over here, um, so definitely have a pen and paper handy uh, so we can get through this. As you can see right off the bat, how large the screen is, and it's definitely one of the largest on the marketplace. Uh, number two, you can see that this is the handheld device that is connected to a cord, very similar to a telephone, that's connected to the device. So if you recall in training, one of the major advantages of this setup is the mere fact that the test can be uh, very difficult on children as well as on the elderly, and it's quite common to have the device drop to the floor. So you could easily see as this device were to drop, uh, even if it were to hit the ground, it's not going to break. Uh, and even if it did break, it's not going to be as expensive as the entire device being broken uh, with an SDI or an NDD or a handheld device. Okay, so let's just see how everything's connected here to give you a little bit better understanding. Um, you can see that here we have a mouse uh, that controls the information data uh, on the screen. I'm going to come around to the back here. And you can see that the mouse just simply connects there. Um, I'm going to come back over to this side. And you can see that the handheld device connects there. Uh, and you have a serial hookup for data exchange with a PC, as well as a USB connector as well. And then you simply just have the on-off button right there. Um, as far as using the, the product, it's pretty easy. I'm going to navigate right here pretty easily with uh, the mouse. I click connect, uh, or actually click on ID input. I'll input all the patient's information. Name, sex, birth date, age, height, weight, race. Um, and then go ahead and uh, move forward to the, the next portion of the test. I'm going to go ahead and conclude that right now for the information on the CardioTech GT105. Uh, in the next segment, I'll show you how an actual test is run. Uh, in addition, actually, before I let that, uh, before I change over, this is what the mouthpiece looks like. And this specific mouthpiece is a micro medical mouthpiece. Uh, you get a hundred of these uh, for $110. So roughly each patient can cost about a dollar ten. To reduce costs even more, you can reuse these particular uh, mouthpieces because if we kind of look in there, um, it does have a filtration process, and you can have the patients use uh, these paper hookups that simply just connect to the mouthpiece. Uh, as such. So you connect them in there, and then they would only be touching, uh, uh, or the mouth would only be touching, obviously, this portion. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and conclude that as the information for the GT105, and then uh, later on I'll send out a different video for an example of a test and how it's run so you can feel a little bit more comfortable uh, on the testing process.